Welcome to the beautiful barns at Wolf Trap and welcome to the Kayfritz Young Artists ARIA Showcase 2021. For obvious reasons, our incredibly talented singers and pianists haven't had as much opportunity as they might to get out there on stage or up in front of an audience. But that doesn't mean that they haven't been hard at work. They've been incredibly hard at work, working on their arias and their roles and their languages and their skills and their technique. And so much great work has gone on that we simply had to share it with you over the course of the next two weeks. Please enjoy the talents of the Kayfritz Young Artists. Hello, my name is Duke Kim. I was born in Seoul, South Korea, and I grew up there. Also grew up in Frankfurt, Germany, and in Irvine, California. I first got into opera because I wanted to be a Korean pop singer. Korean people in general love singing, and I've always been around that, and somehow that affected me. And yeah, I went to this teacher, and he happened to be an opera singer, and he gave me a classical art songs because he thought it would help me sing pop songs better. But we never got to the pop songs because I liked the opera more. The role that I love singing the most right now is Nemorino, because I relate to the character a lot, the way he likes someone for a long time and she doesn't return his love. The way he carries himself is so jolly and happy, it feels like me. So I like the role most. When I am not singing, I like to go on runs and also lift and sometimes cook. I found this wonderful recipe, it's called Osobuco alla Milanese, which is a veal shank. You put some carrots, onions, and celery, the holy trinity, braise it for a while, and there you go. My guilty musical pleasure is the fact that I normally, mostly, only listen to opera and only listen to tenors. For the first selection, I would like to sing for you Fra poco a mericovero from Lucia di Lammermoor by Donizetti. It's sung by the character Edgardo, and he kills himself right after this aria. Oh. 
My name is Rihanna Thelwell, and originally I'm from Avenel, New Jersey. I lived there with my mom and my brother for about 14 years and then went out to Las Vegas, Nevada. After that, I went to Northern Arizona University in Flagstaff, Arizona for my first degree in music. After that, I went to the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor so I could do my master's degree and then on to my specialist. It wasn't until about 14 that I knew I wanted to be an opera singer. It really wasn't until high school, though, that a teacher encouraged me to actually go forward with classical music. She told me to do a audition for classical singer, which is something I had never heard of at that point, and it was terrifying, but it was so exciting, and I, I instantly found what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. So when it comes to my most meaningful roles, my most meaningful actually came quite recently. As a mezzo, you're kind of stuck in a specific fach, and what that means is that your voice type kind of dictates what roles you play. So usually I'm an old woman or a witch, which that gets kind of repetitive after a while. But it wasn't until AOI in 2020 that I was able to perform one of the first things before the pandemic was called Night Trip, where it was the first time that I played a black character that I identified with. I love to paint, to draw, to sketch, even though music is my true drug of choice, I love the arts. I do my best to watch as many ballets as possible, see whatever musicals are available online. I love supporting the arts because it fuels my, my soul and my love for really everything beautiful in the world. So that's my guilty pleasure. I 
don't feel guilty about it, but I kind of do feel guilty about it. I love the Spice Girls. I listen to that all the time. We, <laughs> we, have, uh, we have yoga classes and every once in a while I, I mute the yoga class and I just start blasting wannabe. <laughs> but yeah, that's my musical guilty pleasure. My dream role hasn't been written yet. I am the type of actor slash performer slash singer that likes to be able to do things that people haven't done yet to leave my mark on things. There are so many times that people will tell you like, oh, Sutherland did it this way, or Collis did it this way. I'm dying for a moment that someone says, Thelwell did it this way. And I feel like the best way to do that is with something that hasn't been written yet. Hello, my name is Dennis Schmelensky. I'm currently in my first year here in the K. Fritz Young Artist Program. 
and I originally grew up in Berlin, Germany, and I'm 25 years old. My first experience in opera, uh, I still imagine it quite vividly actually, was at the Staatsoper in, uh, in Berlin at the State Opera House in the choir. We were in the orchestra pit singing um, The Nutcracker. Barenboim was conducting and the Staatskapelle was playing in full force. And there was something so magical at the time, stepping into the orchestra pit, um, not even seeing what's going on on stage, but you had all these uh, thoughts about what it might be and you would hear the dancers running around making noises and uh, it was just one of the most thrilling moments. All other operas followed and uh, just being on stage with so many people and being involved in something um, that is truly greater than yourself and that involves so many disciplines is really something that got me personally hooked with opera. My biggest dream role that I am dying to sing somewhere at some point is Peleas. I just think it's a stunning, beautiful, gloomy, um, mysterious <laughs> piece of art and uh, the characters are all so interesting and ambiguous and that's definitely one of my goals. Um, when I'm not singing, I really love to spend time in the outdoors. I love hiking and I'm an avid runner and uh, I love to cycle on the roads and on the trails. I love playing board games. I love spending time with my wife and we have a little miniature poodle. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of good movies. I love reading books. I love going to museums and art galleries. Uh, recently that has been uh, taking pictures with an analog film camera. My all-time favorite recipe is Käsespätzle. It's an Austrian dish. <laughs> it's a type of homemade egg noodle and you layer it with ham and with onions and with cheese and then you bake it in the oven and all drowned in a mixture of cream and eggs and salt and pepper and scallions and I love that dish. <laughs> it's my favorite dish that my mother uh, always made at home and I still love it to this day. And I really love to do anything uh, that inspires me and that changes from uh, day to day and I try to nourish that. Hello, my name is William Woodard and I'm a pianist with the K. Fritz Young Artist Program. I'm from the town of Normal, Illinois. I started taking piano lessons when I was six because my older brother took piano and I wanted to do everything that he did. I became obsessed with music. In high school I was in marching band, I sang in the choir, I was in magicals, I was in musicals, I did everything. And then when I went to college, that's when I finally found classical music, I started going to the symphony, I started going to the Nashville Opera and started playing for all the singers and it all happened from there. When I'm not playing piano, I love to be outside. I love to walk, to hike, to run, to play tennis. One of my favorite things to do when I'm not playing the piano is actually singing. 
A not so well-known fact about me is that when I was in college, I was in an acapella group called The Melodors, and my sophomore year, we were actually on NBC's The Sing-Off, season five, so look us up. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite pandemic activity has been learning how to play the accordion. My grandfather, when he was younger, was the lead singer and accordion player of a polka band, and now I have his old accordion, so I've been learning how to play it. During the pandemic, my favorite TV show, even pre-pandemic, was RuPaul's Drag Race. There have been new seasons during the pandemic, and I have gone back and watched just about every season that there has been, so that has been my saving grace. I would say this is not such a guilty musical pleasure, but outside of opera, I love Sarah Bareilles. She's a great piano player, great singer, great songwriter. I saw her for the first time in 2019, and I cried for probably half of the concert. My dream show to work on is Puccini's La Boheme. It was the first opera I ever saw, a first professional opera I ever saw at the Nashville Opera, and I completely fell in love, and to this day, I think it is the perfect opera.